This is part 30 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss collecting data from a reactive form and issuing a POST request to the REST API so the data is created on the server. We're going to use this create employee form for both creating a new employee as well as editing an existing employee. In our previous video, we discussed issuing a PUT request to the server-side REST API so the data is updated on the server. In this video, we'll discuss issuing a POST request so the new employee is created on the server. This is our create employee component. Now, if we get to this create employee component and in the route, if we have this employee ID parameter, then we know we are editing an existing employee. On the other hand, if this employee ID does not exist on the route, then we know we want to create a new employee. So the control comes into the else block and we want to initialize this employee property that we have at the component class level with a new empty employee object. So let's do that within the else block right here. Notice I have initialized all the properties of our employee object with their default values. I've set the ID property value to null. We can also set it to undefined. This is required so our fake REST API can assign the next available ID. Now if we take a look at db.json file, notice at the moment within this file we have got two employee objects. So the max ID value is 2. When we set the ID value to undefined, the JSON server knows to assign the next available ID which in our case is 3. So we can set this ID property to either null or undefined. I've also set the rest of the properties like full name, contact preference and email to empty strings, phone number to null and skills to an empty array. Next, we need to modify the code in our onSubmit method accordingly. We're going to use the ID property of this employee object to determine if we are creating a new employee or editing an existing employee. If the ID property on the employee object is truthy, then we know we are editing an existing employee. Else, we are creating a new employee. To be able to create a new employee, we want to call add employee method of our employee service instead of update employee. Now the code is going to be very similar, so let's make a copy of this and then change the bits that are required. So instead of calling update employee method, we want to call add employee method of our employee service. If we take a look at this add employee method within our employee service, notice we are issuing a POST request. So the employee object that we are passing to this method will be created on the server. Let's save all our changes and take a quick look at the browser. At the moment, we are on the create route and on this route we do not have the ID of the employee so we want to create a new employee. Let's provide the details of the new employee that we want to create. There we go. We have our new employee, David, created successfully. When we click the edit button, we can see all his details here. Now, if we take a look at db.json file, notice for our new employee, David, ID value is 3 as expected. So, at this point, we are able to create a new employee as well as edit an existing employee. The only issue at the moment is when we are creating a new employee, the page title is create employee, which is good. But even when we are editing an existing employee, the page title is still create employee. That's because within our create employee component, we have hard coded the page title. Now, when we are editing an existing employee, we want the page title here to be edit employee instead of create employee. For that, instead of hard coding the page title, let's bind to a property in our component class. I'm going to call the property page title. We don't have this property yet. Let's create that within our component class. 
the data type is string. So all that is left to do is to set this page title property value dynamically. Let's do that in ng on a net. If the employee ID value exists, then we know we are editing an employee. In that case, we want to set the page title to edit employee. Else, we want to set the page title to create employee. Let's save all our changes and take a quick look at the browser. There we go. When we are editing an existing employee, the page title is edit employee. And when we are creating a new employee, it is create employee. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.